Hey there, so I'm really, really excited to share with you a commentary around this 24-hour uh, close with Octavio um, that happened uh, live on a, on a webinar. So um, the actual uh, cold call itself happened live on one of our sales machine webinars. Um, two times a week, we're actually out there, or Eric is act out there, you know, I'm with him um, making uh, calls to completely brand new prospects and this is happening with the sales machine members you know listening in and so this was a demo that was set in that context and then what we did was we took that recording and we completely dissected it in front of uh, Nick and Tom's of offline sharks in front of uh, their audience and so what's going to come up next is going to be that recording i want to let you know the first uh 12 minutes is really an intro but um this video is highly edited and the reason why i edited it this way but chose to include this 12 minute intro is because all of the context matters you know, as we're going to go through the call and you're going to have in the members area, you, you have in the members area, the raw call, the raw audio and the transcript. So you can just listen to that all by itself without interruptions whenever you want. But um, with this commentary, you're going to notice that there's like slight interruptions in which, you know, we talk a little bit more about fusion, why it's so important. Um, we talk about the different clients that we've served. We talk about the PM now Instagram. Um, we talk about this idea of build, not beg. And really, it's all solid gold. You know, I was think I was thinking to myself, you know, how how could I possibly remove this when it is so important and it's so valuable to people? So um, as you go through this video, understand that all of it is intentional, all of it's important. And, you know, sales does not live alone. You know, just like fulfillment cannot exist without sales. Sales cannot exist without fulfillment, and and so all of it is integrated together. So please keep that in mind as you go through this video. Um, I know you're going to get a ton of value through it. This is certainly one of those videos you want to earmark and you want to watch it again and again and again because one of the most amazing things is that there's value in every single line of the script that Eric is using. You know, there's not a question that's not intentional. There's not a question that doesn't move the sale forward. So be looking out for that. I know you guys are going to love it. The people yep. that are coaching you right now, Dan, Eric, Michael, and, and their partners, Greg Morrison, SEO legend, and Joe Marfolio, uh, are, are coaches who our members have said are worth 100 thousand dollars like if our members had to pay these guys a hundred thousand dollars to be around them they would have done it and would have done it proudly we asked recently because i got so fired up we were getting all these you know as usual all these earnings reports in uh this really inspires me to see real people so these are the people that are here to give you confidence so so now eric with with that introduction and michael and eric really work together well on this eric can you navigate us through uh uh how long is this this phone call to get this initial yes for the date to try to land the $1,500 SEO deal. Uh, it's a, about a 10 minute video, is that correct? It's actually is about it, uh, almost 13 minutes. Can you guys see my screen minutes. still? This is wonderful. These guys have actually provided you with a transcript. Yeah, we can, so we we can, can see, your screen, see your screen. Hey guys, I'm gonna turn my camera off so people can see you guys a little yeah, better, but I'll be in the background we'll so down to Jeff, let me know. Eric and Michael here uh, in a second. Michael, we'll, sir. Um, can we just like to give a little lead up context? Um, can you can you pull up the report for that day? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. So let me so let me give you guys an idea. So right, so Mike Mike Long was talking about uh, Eric dialing with no uh, what was the word safety net or no net? Yeah, so it just means I'm calling live with people actually you know watching and listening to me. So um, I picked up the phone and this was what this was. Two weeks ago, yeah, um, and like yeah, that. yeah, um, and I may I got on the phone for uh, one hour and thirty two minutes and thirty six thirty seconds. So I made forty two yeah. over here. Yep, um, made forty two phone calls. I talked to twenty two human beings, and I set one appointment. And so I spent about forty nine minutes on the phone, and each conversation, each live answer was about two minutes and fourteen seconds. Um, now the key thing here is. That last decision maker that I spoke with, that was the appointment that I set. 
So I spent the in, like the entire hour and a half speaking with decision make like a couple decision make actually Michael if you just scroll over to the right you'll see how many people I spoke with I engaged two decision makers uh, like talked to them and potentially had another call follow up at some point uh, I spoke to seven decision makers um, that just were saying nope bye or hung up or did whatever they do you know so I'm um, not interested that's that's not decision maker stuff so I spoke to uh, 10 decision makers and um, so that's just so you can understand uh, the numbers behind this. And just the key thing, remember, this call is the last call that I made in the session. So maybe that's that's the context for this. Yeah, and it's super it's super important because I think um it's really easy for for people to just, you know, you know, highlight like, oh, okay, this is a conversation I had or show a recording and we wanted to to really um explain to you guys that you know, in order to make this happen for yourself, it's it's definitely taking these actions. You guys are going to learn a lot, you know, from hearing these calls. But it's also understanding that, you know, it wasn't one call and then this all happened. It was, you know, one out of the 42 calls of the 22 people that spoke, you know, that Eric was able to speak to that this that this thing was born out of. Yeah, I mean, it's really so, long, an hour and a half, Michael. Do you think anyone can do that? <laughs> yeah, an hour and a, an hour and a half is not uh, it's not too much it's not too much yeah. work uh, at all. Um, and the other the only other thing I wanted to mention before we just start uh, playing this, and if you guys can see my screen right now, we've got uh, this audio here, and it's actually um, there's a transcript that we have as well, which is which is great because it'll help everybody um, you know follow along. But what we're selling here is is an SEO package. And you know, a lot of times when people are, you know, and, and specifically it's the fusion package, you know, that was developed as a, you know, a mastermind that um, me, um, you know, myself, all these bit all my business partners had come together to uh, to create. And so um, it's one thing to sell something, but it's another thing, it's it's one thing to learn about sales. But it's a completely other thing when you're learning to sell a specific thing. And what all of this training is about is about uh, selling the specific thing of high, uh, recurring revenue, high profit, fusion SEO. And you know, that's um, what we're going to boil into. into. Um, I overwhelmingly agree with what Michael is saying right now. And, and uh, there's something that, that David Mills says. Um, I think that there really may have been an era. Uh, you know, we had Jordan Belford. Uh, I paid him $75,000 to speak for three hours in Orlando for us at OMG Live, and it was good. Um, and he, he kind of, what, did he, what does Jordan talk about? The Wolf of Wall Street. He talks about how to sell anything, right? That's what people say, how to sell anything. Uh, how many people, give me a yes if you've heard people promise, I, oh, this guy knows how to sell anything. This guy knows how to sell ice to an Eskimo. This idea of somebody who can sell anything or can sell anything to anyone. We've, we've heard of this, right? We've heard this. Um, there may have been a time when that was true, right? But, but Eric and Michael, we're not in an era where people wanna buy anything. They wanna buy something specific, right? They, they, they want something very specific. And so they, they don't want vagueness, they don't want, um, and, and, and Eric, stop me if I'm wrong, but like uh, now that you've really laser focused and narrowed your product down to this very specific product, are yes, you sir. able to sell more or less? Oh, absolutely more. Um, I think that's exactly <clears throat> uh, kind of what Nick was saying was like, you know, there is a moment of, of contraction. Um, and when he focused on his SEO and uh, that allowed for moments of expansion. And that's exactly what it is, is um, by niching down and focusing on, on SEO, we just had the ability to not only, you know, just get better at it, but the ability to just offer and have that conversation with a prospective client uh, in a way that we just wouldn't be able to otherwise. Does that answer your question, and Michael? I, I, Go ahead. I, I, well, I think another thing is really important to um, to mention about you know Eric um, because Eric is um, you know he he's really he's really great with communicating with people and you guys are going to be able to hear um, hear that and um, but the other thing about Eric is you know he actually um, worked at one of these dirty dinosaurs for a number of years 
um, you know, as a, as a salesperson over there. And uh, Eric, do you want to maybe tell the story of like how you are like comfortable with actually starting your own agency? Totally, totally. Well, I mean, let, let's go with a long story short. Um, long story short is, you know, these big agencies make big promises, but they don't deliver big results. And um, I, I was losing sleep at night around the fact that I was selling something that didn't get great results. At some point within that company, I moved to a product that was more effective, uh, that was also digital marketing based and customer relations based, um, still selling, of course. But um, but I, I, at some point I was like, you know, we can't be selling things to people that don't work. So when I, I became a consultant for helping agencies who do have an awesome product, uh, how to help them come up with a sales process and, and sell. Um, and that was amazing, except I kept on thinking to myself, you know, I could be doing this with my own agency. But what stopped me for literally almost, I think it was three years, it might've been more, from, from the moment I quit to the moment I started my own agency with Michael, was that I could not find a product that I knew was either going to work 100% of the time based off of our process or uh, was going to like be the best thing that a person can get. So for me, it was like, oh man, I need to give these clients the product that's going to make them the most money and get them the best ROI, let's say that. And uh, I know that we can deliver lights out. And that's when I saw that we could do those two things, uh, both with what's going on with, you know, the whole SEO training that Nick's been talking about, what Mike Long and uh, Dan and Michael and I are all about. Once I saw that and I, it was just like, yes, this is it. And it clicked and we got started and we went full speed ahead. Yeah. I, I mean, Eric, the reason why I wanted you to, to share that is because the reason I wanted you to share that is because you know part of it is is selling a particular product but another really big piece is you know if people want to go out there and sell like you need to believe in your product you need to have confidence that like i'm going to crush it for these people you know because if you're picking up the phone and you know you're you're calling 42 people you know and and it's great i mean what happened was amazing you know but if you're picking up the phone like you need to know that every person that i speak to is somebody that i can help you know, and somebody who's, you know, when they sign up, not only am I going to, you know, have, you know, recurring revenue, what I can build on, which I can feel stable about, but you also know that you're going to be able to sleep at night and that you're going to, you know, this person's going to be happy. Who's your Excuse first me? Client? Who was your first SEO client? Who's the first person you ever did SEO for? Um, Indie Grove was one of the, was, oh, my father. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, no, that was... <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I forget about it because he never—he didn't really pay me. <laughs> he was just my dad. <laughs> you know, he didn't really pay me, but um, you know, because like I wanted you to know that. that you got him paid big time. Oh yeah, my gosh, did. you know. Yeah, so my my father, he um, he, he's been doing garage doors, you know, his entire life, and um, he's getting older, and he tells me he's like, you know, I I want to um, I need to get my own phone calls, you know, because he was just subcontracting from other companies. And it was around this time that I, I quit my job and I was trying to figure out digital marketing. I ran it much like, I mean, my story is very similar to, uh, to Nick's story, you know, cause I found Mike and um, his training and, you know, of which Dan uh, Anton was a part of and Greg Morrison, Joe Morfolio, the, the whole crew that we've got now. And um, I followed along with the methods that were taught and I was able to get my dad phone calls and even it, it was, it, I mean, it completely changed his business. It completely changed, you know, um, the profits that he had because instead of subcontracting, he was able to get his own calls, which by the way, is like a big thing in the industry. But um, I remember just, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I was visiting my dad and um, we were just having coffee and he, he got a phone call from, you know, a new customer and he just like, you know, walked on over and was like taking the person's phone number down and uh, their address. And he was going to, he's like, all right, I'll be there. And, you know, in the next hour. And I was just smiling because it was just so normal. Like it was just, this was something that never happened, but by using, you know, by, by learning SEO, by learning fusion SEO, this style, um, by using the software that, that we have that creates amazing backlinks, you know, this is what was able to build you know, this, this now life that seems so, so normal, this business that my dad gets to enjoy and the business yeah, that he has a lot of you know, I get to enjoy. Too. 
and so does everyone on this webinar. All right, yeah. awesome. Let's get to the call. This is amazing. Yeah, let's get to the call. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I just felt like this was really necessary. Um, I got to make sure that you guys can hear this. So um, I'm going to turn this volume up. I might need to take my audio off, uh, my headset off, so you guys can hear it. So we'll, we'll try this uh, to make sure it works, okay? Inclusion. Yep, it's good. Sorry, I was looking for Eric. Can you guys can you uh, can you guys hear that audio when I played on my computer? Yeah, I can hear it, Michael. We can hear it great. Okay, okay, great. So um, let's just get uh, let's get started well, from the beginning. This is the uh, this is the call. Hello. Hi, Eric. Hello. Hi, Eric. can you hear me? I'm sorry, who yeah. are you looking for again? I'm sorry, I was looking for Eric. Eric, he's not here in the office right now. Do you want to leave a message? Uh, I can leave a message. Um, let me, I'm just to figure out, maybe he's not the right person to speak with. And maybe it's you, so hoping you can help me out, point me in the direction. Um, who usually handles the like business conversations around sending you guys two, three more jobs a week that you do, or Eric, or someone else? Uh, that's me. You okay? And what was it again? Octavio. Octavio, okay. Um, and um, I have a quick second, um, give you a 30 second description of what we do. And if you're interested, you know, we could set up another in the chat. Pause for a second, Mike. Oh, you were going to pause it right there? Dude, yeah, yeah. How awkward is this? I mean, I'm cringing here, but can we get some, like, wow, boy, is that awkward? Yeah, let's. <laughs> How, how, how many people feel the cringeworthiness right now? Does this sound like this is going to turn into a new date, or does this sound like a 40-second no that he's going to get? <laughs> yeah, it's really awkward. Yeah, someone said, yeah, guy. this is cold. Yep, I've had those calls. <laughs> Clay yeah. says, this is an obvious deal, ha-ha. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is this cold? Yeah. Yes, Dorn. That's what's so exciting. It's one thing, um, uh, Dorn, wouldn't you agree that if we can show you what we can do with a cold lead, then if we can also show you how to get those warm leads, that you'll be in a great position, right? This is great. We getting these great um, uh, comments. Suzette says, not a great start, LOL. Here's the crazy thing. Eric is doing this in front of like a hundred of our members. So they're all like, Michael is on the call and, and like a hundred of our members were on the call while Eric, was doing this and going through this excruciating uh, start. Yeah, and it, I was just going to mention, you know, there's actually a really nice golden, you know, gold nugget for uh, people who are paying attention here, which is, which is this paragraph, um, which is this paragraph right over here, you know, where um, we're basically. Eric says, you know, oh, Eric, you know, the the name that was on the file was this guy, Eric. But our Eric Brief says, um, you know, just to figure out maybe he's not the right person to speak with. I was hoping you can help me out, point me in the direction, you know, who usually handles these business conversations. So instead of just leaving a message or saying, oh, so and so isn't available, uh, what Eric Brief was doing was just double checking. Hey, do I actually have the right person in my file? Is the business owner actually this guy, Eric? And we find out that it wasn't. It was this guy, Octavio. Yep, and and get this, I would use that same line. I'm hoping you can point me in the right direction if I didn't have the person's contact information. So I'm just I'm repurposing that same thing because I call people up all the time and I don't even I just know their business name and phone number. I don't know the, the decision maker's name at all. Cool. So uh, let's just continue with the call. All right, excellent, man. Thank you. So we specialize in working with HVAC contractors, just getting them real calls directly from people who are actively looking for assistant repair work. Um, what is your guys' focus right now? Is it in service or you know, trying to up different you know, um, maintenance agreements for the colder season coming up? Installations is, uh, is what we do, what we try to do the most. Of course, I mean, those are, those are where the, the big money is. Um, but our clients love working with us because we break them out of the cycle of needing to pay for a single lead. I mean, most of the HVAC guys, they've you know, spoken with 
fast or forced to make crazy practices for paper leaders or paper but and you know most of the time they actually never even get in touch with those leads uh, have you ever done something like that yes yeah, it's just rough. Uh, so with PM now, my company, we laid down the foundation for you guys getting your phone ringing directly from someone who is actively searching for AC or heating work. You know, they call you directly. You have a chance to land that job right, right there without competing with five different businesses. Does that make sense? Yes. Awesome. So what I want to do is set up the time for you know, 20, 25 minutes, whenever you can be in front of a computer, Octavio, and I'll show you how we get our clients these kinds of results and just to bust up the biggest myth out there about the best way to generate profitable calls for your business. What time works best for you? Just a couple minutes later today or tomorrow morning? Uh, what's the name of the of you guys' company? It's called PM now. That's my company. I'm, I'm the owner of the company. Um, what, what do you think would be best for you uh, later today, tomorrow morning, just, you know, in front of the computer so I can walk you through the program? Uh, let me see. Go ahead. Today around five. What was that, Eric? I was just gonna say. Remember, um, that was not like a pause or anything like that. I'm sorry, that wasn't like an audio error. That was just me shutting up. Yeah. I don't want anything to get in the way of him giving me the time at this point. That's it. Yeah, and he just um, and he just did. He gave you um, he gave you 5 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. Central uh, Central time. And what you guys have been able to hear then is, you know, actually, you know, three big things. Number one, what to do, like to confirm that you have um, the right decision maker's name. Uh, number two, you guys got to hear what a cold call script looks like, um, at least for uh, for the niche that, um, that me and Eric uh, operate in. And um, right now, what we're, we're moving into is just the qualifying section, you know, getting the right information to ensure that this is actually somebody that um, Eric wants to speak with. Absolutely. 5 p.m. Central time. And uh, just so I can be most prepared, and you'll be in front of the computer at that time, right, Octavia? Yes. Okay, excellent. Just so I can be most prepared for our call, because um, I will spend about 45 minutes just getting everything presentable and prepared, making some custom for you. I just want to ask you a couple more questions. Um, just take a minute. Is that okay? Here you go. Okay, so we're getting some um, some uh, basic information um, from from Octavio, um, his name, his uh, his email address. Um, uh, a cell phone number, the official title of the, you know, oh, uh, what's going dude, on with that's the company. Huge. You can't, you can't get rid of that title. You gotta, that is vital because mm -hmm. right now, why do I say what's the title is I am trying to um, find out, make sure, confirm the decision-making stuff. And so the title is just one way of figuring that out. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go from there. If we can go from 439, sir. Oh yeah, this okay? is great. Yep. Okay, excellent. And um, what would you say your official title title is over at the company? Uh, I'm a technician. Pause. Yep. When he when he said I'm a technician, I'm like, yeah, sure, you might do the technical work, but there's no way this guy's a technician. Like I just know he's not. And um, but at the same time, I'm not so overconfident that I. I'm not going to investigate that and poke it around further. And I'm kind of jumping ahead, by the way, in the script. You know, I couldn't help but peek forward. And this is a key lesson for marketing. Very powerful lesson. Uh, by the way, is everyone taking notes here and just filling up? Hopefully, really, really just filling up notebook pages because this this is invaluable. Give me a yes. We had, uh, Aura Wilson, by the way, was like, had to be quiet, but he worked. Yeah, you're getting real specifics here. Real I know I, I know I am you guys this is Nick I just want to say like that that way that you I mean from the beginning of the call so many gold nugs that you're just you know sharing with us and I, I really appreciate it even even for myself selfishly some of these things that you're doing like how you you know you paused you 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 asked if that was the right person to be speaking with I mean just truly gold there so I'm also taking notes on this and 
<laughs> I'll be it. sharing with the rest of my team in house here. Thank you. Love it. And, and just and Nick, you know, let me ask you this. It's so funny. I, I found my eyes jumping ahead to where it says 518, where it says I've been, uh, or sorry, before at 511. Okay, cool. Um, so how long have you been in business, Nick? When I first saw that, just in a blink of the eye, my first assumption was that was Octavio saying to Eric, "Hey, wait a second. Who are you? How long have you been in business?" And I was like, "Wait a second. No, mm -hmm. Eric is totally flipping the script here." Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's. I mean, he's he's uh, establishing his you know his positioning here. He's he's posturing up a little bit and building that credibility. So, I mean. I'm learning here. I'm 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 a student in this one, so yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm as as a student, but as as the head shark, what happens when the client takes control of the frame? You know, you're kind of their bitch. Oh yeah. Oh I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're either <laughs> AKA, Yeah, you're either the teacher or you're the student, and mm -hmm. teachers right. sell and students buy. Right. 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 And when I say I'm the student, I'm I'm saying when I'm talking to you oh, guys. I'm, Nick, I'm yeah, not yeah. talking about yeah. right now. No, no. Come on. I'm, <laughs> yeah, dude, Eric. I mean, you're you're amazing. You know, with what you can do on the phone and how you do sales and and these you know these these things that you do. So I'm I'm learning every time I listen in on some of your calls, and I appreciate that. So that's that's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm a fly on the wall. Everybody else here on this call is a fly on the wall, and you know this, this is a classic sharks moment. Exactly. Yeah. You never. You never. You don't you don't get this type of information anywhere else but here. You know, you don't hear people actually making calls because nobody's making calls. You don't hear, hear people making deals because there aren't a lot of people, let's be honest, out there, you know, doing what they're saying that they're doing and teaching. And that's what separates you guys from everybody else, you know, out there. And my results from what I've gotten, from what I've learned from you all, speak for themselves. Love it. Beautiful. I appreciate that, Nick. Well, the last thing I'll say here before we move forward here and listening to more is just that I'll, I'll never forget my first call review with my manager, the director of sales at the company. Um, he played my call and I listened to myself and I was like, oh my God, there is, there is a man who is like mentally like not all there. He's like a handicapped You're talking about person. yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was listening to myself. I was like, this guy, like, like he really he doesn't belong working at a company, like let alone like out of an asylum, asylum. Like there's no way this guy is like, this must be a joke, like listening to myself. And my, the manager said to me, he goes, Eric, you got to just let go of that right now. I can promise you people don't want to talk to like a smooth, slick salesperson. They want to just talk to another human being and being nervous is totally fine. It's like, you just be how you are, but you follow the process. And I'm, there's not a single thing here that I'm like pulling out of a hat. It's all, it's all my process. Let's roll. You know, I just want to touch on that real quick, Eric, because I think it's so important because for me, this was a big piece, right? Like I didn't have, uh, I, I'm not good on the phone at all. I mean, in fact, like growing up here in Hawaii, we have, we don't even speak regular English, right? We speak pigeon, which is like, for me, it's like, I don't know. It's a, it's a mental block, right? Like I, I call businesses and I think they're, they don't understand me sometimes and I'm stumbling over my words and I'm not confident in what I'm doing. But to be completely honest, that authenticity, it comes through and, and people, especially small businesses want to work with people that are authentic. The, the businesses that you guys are talking about that are stuck under these, the dirty dinosaur. And I love that analogy because it's so true. Uh, we recently got somebody that was paying an SEO business for over two years, but never got a single lead. <laughs> never got a single lead, which is, that's a classic dirty dinosaur right there, right? That yeah. dirty dinosaur is just taking their money from them every single month, but doing absolutely nothing for them. Um, yeah, it'd be nice you know, if those, we had a two year leash, right? Like two yeah. years to. <laughs> but those, those people, right? Those, those mom and pop businesses, the smaller businesses, they want to speak to a person on the other end of the line. And that's what makes them feel comfortable. And if you're genuine and you're authentic and you're, you're, you're shaking in your boots when you're talking to them, but they get the idea that you're going to come through and, you know, work like a madman and deliver on what you're doing, that, that, that makes them feel comfortable. These, I mean, it, it truly does. And so for me, I was scared to do that stuff, but it actually became an asset for me. Yeah. And, and Nick, you know, I, I really, I really love, um, you know, what you're saying. And I think there's a part that's really important about it is that, you know, people, they love to hear that authenticity, you know, and even if it's not polished, um, 
but they also like need to hear that you know you believe in what you're selling and that you've you've got a competence in what you're selling and that's really why you know like the product that you're selling and the way that you're selling it they just go hand in hand you know they're those those are two pieces that you cannot pull apart like they're together you know you need to have a product and then and then a way of selling that specific product and what's so amazing about and we're gonna we're gonna show you guys uh, um you know a little bit underneath the hood of uh what it is that we do um for our clients with our fusion style seo but you know what's so what's so amazing about it is you know once you see what this process does you know you can talk to a business owner and you know maybe it's a little bit shaky maybe it's not polished but they're going to understand like oh my gosh this is something that can really help me yeah yeah it's so true and i'm i'm not i hope i'm not letting the cat out of the bag here of of you know what you're what you're about to kind of reveal to everybody but you know what what changed for me in that is that like I, I experienced everything that you're talking about, right? And I needed to be able to do exactly like you said, make them believe in what I believe that I could deliver on this service. And the way that I, uh, at first I didn't have that confidence and I wasn't able to get any deals. So you're, you're absolutely correct. And when I gained that confidence, then I was able to get the deals. And the way that I gained that confidence is, I mean, I started doing it for myself because the the risk was managed right i was able to build up which you know hawaii seo maui seo these terms that my agency is ranking for by doing that i didn't really realize what i was doing at the time but i was building my confidence i was learning i was learning the craft right mm -hmm. and you know that information on how i was able to do that and learn that stuff i was only able to figure that out by learning it from people that were actually doing it mm -hmm. yep it's totally, totally. And you know what, the, the thing is, is even after you do it for yourself and you've ranked yourself, you still never rank for someone else. Meaning like what I'm <laughs> getting at is it's a catch 22. It's like True. if you can't do it until you've done it for a client, then yeah. you're never, you're never going to do it for a client. And yep. so it's that you've got to have your process and your approach based off of something that's been tested a bajillion times. Mm -hmm. Really over a thousand people have been through this training. It's working. And Greg, who's really like the uh, the godfather of this, he's been only thinking and doing this and testing it, tested over thousands of websites with this. So it's, it's a, not a question of like, will it work? It's a question of like, will you show up and actually just do it? Do you want to follow this process? Um, and then yeah, I just feel like we got to listen to the rest of this call, man. I just, yeah. Yeah. I'm wow. dying to hear it. Cool. Okay. And uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, you know, these kinds of decisions and making kind of marketing calls, is that something that you typically handle? Or is there anyone else you feel would need to be there to see this to know whether or not you think this would be a good fit for the company? No, it's just, just me. Okay, cool. Um, uh, so how long have you guys been in business? I've been in business since, what is it, 2011, so about nine years now. Okay, cool, man. Um, and then um, how many residential service calls would you guys say you do on average per week right now? Uh, should you do about, let's see it. Well, we're now it's global. We're doing let's see, what, 20, 30 maybe. So we'll get 20, 30 calls a week. And um, how many how many trucks would you say you have to handle that? I got two. You got two, okay. And um, how many more could you handle on a weekly basis just without spreading yourself too thin? Okay, I'm going to stop this one. Um, th this is crucial. This is crucial. This is this question more than any other question is the reason why David Mills and I wanted to work with Eric Reef and Michael Tesla. And, and, and uh, see, see, you know, give a guess. So uh, I'll, I'll recreate it for you. Got you. Okay. How many more calls can you handle on a weekly basis just without spreading yourself too thin? What, why? Why did that make me and, and the legendary David Mills, our last phone went for $50 million profit, 
right? We've been around the block with massive customer success. What is it about that comment? And, and you know, you can ask a question. There's no wrong answers in the sense that I don't expect you to have the right answer. If someone guesses, that's great. Maybe there's an Amazon gift card in it for you. Who knows? Uh, but let's, <laughs> I'm not trying yep. to spend, do um, it. Money. <laughs> if you want to venture, I guess, let, let me give people a couple seconds. Okay. Um, Aura says, implying you can supply whatever they can handle and a concern about quality. Great. That's a great one. Um, Basil says it implies you deliver. Let me let me give um, big ups to both Aura and Basil because they use the magic word implies. The magic word here is implies. What are we implying about ourselves, right? If you walk up, like like no one walks up to a girl at a bar and is like, oh man, you know I'm the best cuddler in the world. Let's go make out. I mean, it just makes no sense, right? Like it would just be absolutely absurd, and yet. You know, women love cuddles, like whatever. All right, Brian says, future pacing, great. Ralph says, asking, this is a great God. You know, uh, Nick and Tom just do such an amazing job of attracting amazing people, but also having the having a real context for good questions. It infers, Susan says infers, which is very similar to implies, infers you can deliver a lot of leads. That's a good one. Uh, Gary says, potential clients to supply. Rich says, sets volume expectations. Mike says, has capacity. Ding, 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 Mike, great one. Uh, it gets them involved or more engaged, John said. Yep. Uh, easy to answer, but informative, Chrissy says. It's implying I can get you more customers. Absolutely. Room to grow. Really, really unbelievable. By the way, Jimmy says confidence. Jimmy probably feeling the confidence we said at the beginning. By the way, how many people at this point in the webinar, g give me a yes if you're already starting to feel like maybe just a little bit more confident, just a little, a little baby step more co uh, uh, confident. Doran says capacity, can give the clients a bit of they want, Eldon says, uh, leads them to believe you can deliver calls. Yes, lots of stuff and lots of people who are already feeling more confident. Here's what I see. Um, it's such a damn good question is what it is, right? Because everybody thinks that they like that, that, that the issue for clients is that they need more customers. Eric, how many times have we been on the call and they don't want more customers? Some people just don't. Remember that that 70 year old guy? He wanted more. He's like, maybe my son will want more customers. Yeah, yeah, it made no sense. Well, I mean, and uh, if I could, uh, you know, just say something in here, pretty much is this is I know I can do what I do. We're going to get you more calls. And this conversation, anything else after this, is only important if you want more business. And if you can handle more business, which is exactly. like Both the of corollary them. to that. Exactly, with, exactly. Without, and you're saying without straining, right? Because you're not trying to get them pumped up on a bunch of energy. And then they're starting to think to themselves, do I even really want this? And this goes back to what Nick said. Nick made a great point about building your first city SEO site, how much real confidence that gave him, right? Um, you know, Eric, what Eric is doing is building with the customer here. He's building something unique. He's engaged with a customer. And, and, and by the way, everyone basically said at least part of the answer who is yes. engaged here, yeah. right? But Eric is building something. We say in our neck of the woods, David Mills says this, in life you build or you beg. You beg for grades, you beg for a job, you beg for time off from your job, you beg not to get fired or for a raise, you beg, you beg, you beg, you beg. Or you do what, what Nick and Tom have done. You build something of value. You do what we've done. How, how did I go from trailer park to being a multimillionaire who drives a Rolls Royce? SEO. SEO is what paid for it. I built it, right? Uh, Eric and Michael, their agency. Um, and by the way, where does this come from? Would you, uh, would you go to a, a little known underground Instagram really quickly, Mike? Uh, the the yeah. PM now Instagram. Could you pull that up? Yeah, let me. Um, I am. Um, because when this guy is saying twenty to thirty phone calls, the first thing that jumped into my mind is Michael and Eric just posted a brand new report from one of your clients who use who, who you know you use our our process and our software. And didn't they get like forty new calls last month, or thirty or forty new calls, brand new calls? Oh crap! Yeah, That's yeah. Well, so um, what you guys are are you guys able to hear me and see my um my screen? Okay. Yeah, yeah good question. afternoon, Michael. Okay, excellent. So what we're looking at is uh, the PM Now Instagram. So if you guys, you know, anybody who has an an, um, an agency right now, uh, please create an Instagram. 
I promise you it'll help. And uh, this is a, a perfect example of something that you build, you know, in your in your business to help you make more money. So, you know, one of the things that one of the first things we built was we built our SEO process, which is you know the Fusion style SEO. It's a it's a very systematic. There's a process around it. Um, another thing that we built, which you guys saw, is our cold call script. So you got to see what the cold call script looks like. And we built that out. You know, we made adjustments to it. We tested it. We're constantly testing it. Another thing that we built out is the Instagram. So take a look over here. And what we're building with the Instagram on a weekly basis is actually just more and more proof and uh, just case studies of what this and system you're also does. recognizing your clients. They love this. Oh, they, oh, no, no, they're, 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 they're obsessed with this. So yeah. um, you can see over here for one client, 100, 177% increase in phone calls from one month to the next. But it's not like they had two calls and then the next month they had like six calls. It's not that. This was That's actually cool. an additional. 136 phone calls. Eric, how much on average would you say those phone calls are worth conservatively? Well, let's just for the sake of numbers being round, let's say they're just worth two hundred dollars profit, just so we can keep it round. So two thirty. Well, well, it's going to be I, worth I think, it. Well, there's, there's some simple. Front end and there's back end. There, there's some simple math. You know, we can we can actually walk people through, like because it's two hundred thirty six phone calls. You know, but maybe you know half of them actually turn into new uh, to new Way clients. More, more than half. More than half, but I'm just saying, let's put it at half. More than half okay. will convert. Would mean 118 new jobs. And then for our clients in our niche, the average ticket on the low end is $350. So and that's before multiple, those change ups. And, and the change ups is what the guy said he wanted. Yeah, exactly. Those yep. things are closer to like $10,000. But a, a, you know, a repair. And how often do those happen? Like once somebody's a customer, basically it's a ticking clock until it happens, right? It's exactly yes, right. Yes, that's exactly it, Mike. That's exactly a great it's way exactly. of describing it. Yeah, anybody who's owned an AC unit, you guys know, like an AC unit is a, a ticking clock until the thing breaks down, and then you need to call up your company. But so why don't you multiply the 118 by 600, because that, that's probably, or, or, okay. yeah, I guess 300, but then there's going to be a back end. So 118 times, let's just say 600. Wait, go back. There was something that got doubled up. A lot of money, it's not quite that much. 118 multiplied by 600. Zero, zero. Seventy thousand eight hundred dollars, an additional How seventy. How people would feel more confident if you felt like you could potentially deliver seventy thousand dollars a month in new business? Give me a yes if you're starting to feel that confidence pile up. Yeah, that's yeah, that's just just under a million dollars a year that we'd be adding to their business in one single month. These are salt of the earth people. You would like their customers. I've been on oh, many great. of these phone calls. These are great people that they're trying to help. Salt of the earth with great reviews who are really trying to help their customers and they have been swindled. They're just like um, uh, Michael's father was at the yeah. mercy of contractors, at the mercy of home advisor, um, you know, uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul, just trying to stay ahead. And Michael and Eric come in and they punch those dirty dinosaurs in the nose with Dan Anton and, and, and Greg Morrison's uh, process. And, and it's life changing. It's life changing. And so Eric, you're not intimidated when you hear somebody is making 20 or 30 uh, uh, service calls a week. You think to yourself, I can really help you. Yeah, I can. And then, you know, just to kind of jive on what everyone else was saying was the biggest thing about that is I, I want to close doors. So I'm closing doors and I'm opening doors. And the door for me, I don't want to get to the end of the call and have them say, you know, this is really great, Eric. Um, I just don't know if I can handle taking on that many, many jobs. Like I, that would be a complete waste of my time. Um, I want to know that if they, if they can't take on more calls, but they still want to talk to me, I'm not going to talk to them. Yeah. I want to make sure that they're doing enough jobs that they'll have the money to pay me because I also can't have a business need my service to work as a, as a condition for working together, right? They can't be like, this is my lifeline. If I don't have this work in three months, then I'm going to go out of business like that. That's an unworkable condition for working yeah. together. Yeah. Well, Great. One thing um, I wanted to mention also, you know, and, and Eric, like that, that was like a, 
obviously like the perfect sum up of, you know, um, the question of, you know, um, how many additional jobs can you handle? Um, but to talk a little bit about the 70,000, you know, um, per month in additional business. Um, when I started consulting, like I almost couldn't wrap my head around charging somebody $2,500 a month, you know, or more for, for services. And by the way, this client I think is paying us $1,500 a month. Um, but I almost couldn't wrap my head around like, oh man, how do I charge somebody $2,500 a month ongoing? Because, you know, I mean, that wasn't something that I'd ever paid for. But after you see the results that you can deliver to clients and after you like really look at like, holy, holy crap, like we've got another client sent us an email um, saying that like it wasn't it wasn't us doing the calculation. His um, software, his revenue, like booking software showed there was an additional fifty three thousand dollars of new business. Um, that was delivered because of our fusion style SEO, using the software, using the processes that we do. And so it also just gives you confidence to charge a higher price because you're like, oh my gosh, I've seen this work. And you know, maybe you go through a few deals first and you build up your confidence, you charge more, you charge more. But after you have, you know, after you've built that, after you've built these case studies, now it's very easy to charge people, you know, what you're actually worth and what, what well, uh, your well, value is. This. Aura said this, and this is a wonderful reframe. And I think I think Aura is really starting to feel the confidence here. Based on the results, you are a steal. That's what Aura said. Absolute steal. Yeah. That, Absolutely yeah, beautiful. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to play it two ways because when someone's like skeptical, you yeah. know, they don't realize it's just, you have to have the compassion for them, them being the burned compassion. by their dinosaurs. All right. So, Love yeah. That. All right. So I'm going to take my headset off and then I'll continue playing this. Uh, please just let me know if you have a problem with the audio. Another, I don't know, hmm? 20 more easily. 20 more easily, okay, that's important because, you know, if you can't take that more, it's probably gonna be important. And uh, how many installs would you guys say you do on a weekly basis? I know that's your focus. We do about one a day. Okay, cool. Yeah, that Great. means they're making a lot um, of money. And, you know, I guess what what marketing would you guys have right now to bring on new clients? Uh, we don't really have anything right now. Regularly, social media. Uh, that's about it. Uh, like you put, like you post on social media, like Instagram or Facebook, just to, you, like you have a page. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, and then, uh, what do you think would like set you guys apart from the next company out there? Why would somebody choose you guys instead of you know some other company out there? Um. Really engaging him. Hmm. I'm always uh, teaching my guys the my guys the the new stuff, the best way to do things. Um. What else? If there's something we don't understand, we learn it until we become pros at it. I love that. Um, so yeah, we, mm. I hear. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. I was gonna say it sounds like you guys are you guys keep up with all the technology and you're, you know, if you don't know the answer to something, you don't just kind of ignore it. You're, you're interested in really making sure that you could both answer all the questions for the, uh, for the customer, but also make sure that you guys feel like you're experts and it's important for your technicians to always be on top of the game. Is that it? Yes. Oh, that's, that's good. I mean, not everyone says that. Um, you know, is there anything else that you um, that you you know want me to make sure that I can cover for during our meeting around any kind of marketing stuff for you guys? Um, no, no. Okay, actually, because I, I mean, because one of the things that um, we're gonna do is I'll take a look at you know your site, and, you know, what you guys 
we've got going on there and what you know what the opportunity is and how we can help you um so we're all set to talk uh today at just to make that clear he's at 5 p.m and i'm going to send you just a, an email invite in your calendar um can you make sure to accept that invite once i send it over to you or make sure you got it it's going to be a zoom meeting in front of your computer uh you'll be back in front of your computer then yes yes Okay, excellent. And it, you're you're going to love this, I, I promise you. Um, and then, um, I mean, if there's anything else that you want to know, I mean, I'm I'm asked away. But is is it something you know, like getting more calls from people who are actively going online looking for AC repair in your area? Is that something that you guys have kind of been thinking about or thought about lately, or you know, in Elgin? Pretty much pause for a second, Michael. The, like you call me, I usually. Michael, pause. Yep. Okay. So, so there's a couple of things that I've done here, questions that like seem either weird or awkward for me at least, but I'm doing it for a reason. I'm fishing. I'm trying the, the best part of this conversation for me is when he told me about his technicians and how he wants to stay on top of the game. He was engaged in the conversation, but I'm, I'm, I'm not like a hundred percent sold that this guy's so engaged or like that interested and I'm giving him different ways to like, um, to hook in. So one of those ways would be like, have you guys thought about this before? What are you guys already doing? Like I'm trying to get him to open up. Um, and then I'm like, so, you know, uh, have you thought about any kind of stuff like this before? I'm just trying to get an angle. I want to come at an angle and I'm not getting uh, any angles right now, <laughs> but now we're about to hit some. Michael, well, Mike and, by the way, do you want to work with like, let's think about this in terms of you feeling confident, right? We're here to feel more confident, but for real, um, Eric, and Michael, how much of your confidence comes from the fact that you're not work working with a bunch of, bunch of dingbats that you've sold with a bunch of smoke and mirrors, right? You, you're actually really working with people that you guys have a great deal of respect for their work product the way they, they run their business yeah i mean it's just yeah it just makes it makes your life like i mean one of the things that one of the reasons i got into entrepreneurship is i wanted to contribute you know like rather than pushing papers in some bank you know but um i wanted to like work with a certain type of person and it's just one of the beauties about you know running your own agency and you know especially if you decide to pick a niche you know you can just have your niche be your area you know like nick does you know hawaii he ranks for hawaii seo but um, you know, you can actually select the type of people that you want to do business with, that you want to contribute, you know, contribute to, and that you want to communicate with on a regular basis. It's excellent. How many people would yeah. feel more more confident? Give me a yes if you see yourself being more confident, knowing that you're building this type of a pipeline and this type of a customer base, these real world people. You know, and by the way, does Octavio sound like the slickest sales guy in the world? No. Someone someone just said earlier. Uh, I think Octo, yeah, R Ralph said, Octavio is actually an introvert. Yes, he is, right? Yes, he is, but then he's turning what energy he does have towards a really great quality product. Are they more likely, because they're almost like partners with it, you know, Eric and Michael, if they become a customer. So do you want partners who are engaged, who are interested, right? This is great. I, I think that people are really getting this incrementally step-by-step, step, which I love. Go ahead. Cool. This next line is gonna be great. This is my favorite line. I hear it um, on but just about every call. Pretty much everybody that calls me, like you call me, I usually turn them away because uh, it's always the same thing. We I already tried many things, like being on, on the front page of Google and Yahoo. That doesn't work for us, or at least for the heating and air uh, services around the area. We tried it for a year. If maybe we got one mm -hmm. or two calls. Uh, I did not get my money back um, on those two calls for the whole year that I was paying for the service. Um, let's see what else. I tried I Smith for an Angie's list. I tried, uh, what is it? Uh, there's another one similar to Angie's list. I tried that one too. Um, and none of them, okay. they, they put us, uh, to compete with other companies around the area that are um, home advisor 
home advisor. Yeah, that's the one they tried. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. So when I when we talk later today, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like walk you through um, some of the different kind of options that there are out there and what what we can do that's different. Um, I'm gonna I can pretty much tell you why the last thing you did uh, did not work. I mean that I. I, and I understand that you get a lot of different calls for stuff, but I can promise you that this is my company and we do an amazing job. I can promise you that it's going to be worth your time. And at the minimum, you are going to have said, wow, I'm really glad I took that call. I learned a lot about what's possible for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm making a big promise about this call. Okay. All right. All right. I appreciate you sitting down with me, Octavia. I, I promise it's going to be great. I will talk to you at 5 p.m. today. And uh, have you ever used Zoom before? I have. Uh, my kids use it now on their on their on their tab on their computers at the school table, but I don't have a camera on the on my computer. Oh, that's not a problem, man. Oh, not at all. I'm I'm going to be sharing my screen with you. That key thing is that I can share my screen with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll see all the stuff that I Okay, excellent. And like I said, I'm really excited about um, sitting with you, and I am going to uh, uh, I'm going to put some of this stuff together, start working on our call. So I will talk to you at 5 p.m. Central today and send you a, a reminder here via, uh, via your, this phone here, the nine, 6931. Is that right? Yes. Okay, yes. excellent, man. All right, I will talk to you then. All right, so 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 that is the phone call. Did did we follow through on what we said? Do do you feel like like having witnessed that phone call, having Eric set up this date? Do you do you feel like like we've delivered on what Nick and Tom said? Was it was it awkward like we said? And did it give you confidence like we said? Let's check it out. Let's go to let's go to the feedback. Let's find out if people are feeling more confident. So much of building confidence is, is having confidence that you know what you're doing. So one of the first steps I would highly recommend you do um, in building your agency is to build out your agency website, build out your My City SEO site, um, and then follow the fusion process in order to get it ranked. Uh, in order to get it ranked, you know, maybe if you don't have the budget to buy backlinks, that's fine because you know a lot of times just by uh, just by building things, you're going to start to see um, some movement in the search engines, and that's going to be enough. Um, after that, approach your network, reach out, find you know who it is that's uh that's connected with your family and friends that um is a small business owner or works for a small business owner or knows a small business owner or goes to the gym with one or he goes to church with one there i mean i promise you, you you are connected to somebody out there and then you can talk to them about you know what you've done and so in this uh in, in these other uh in this module, there are videos about running the actual demo, but in terms of gaining that confidence in what you can do, um, I, I know for myself, um, I gained a ton of confidence by just doing the work. Um, I did the work with my father and I was able to see how it uh, impacted his business. And so you guys can do a similar thing, you know, with friends, family members, and that's how you can start building this up, you know, getting clients, getting more case studies, getting more confidence out there, and then closing more deals.